e to the one over x is a composite function. So to take its derivative, we need to use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, is equal to f prime of g of x multiplied by g prime of x. That's the derivative of the outside, evaluated at the inside, multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So if we can identify the outside and inside functions in this case, we'll be able to apply the chain rule. In this problem, the outside function, which we will call f of x, is e to a power, so e to the x. That power, that inside function, we'll call g of x. In this case, of course, that is 1 over x, which we could also write as x to the negative 1. And now we can take the derivative of e to the 1 over x using the chain rule. We begin with f prime of g of x. So f prime is the derivative of the outside function. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. But it's not x that we want inside the function, it's g of x. Like we said, g of x is the inside function. It's 1 over x. So we'll just put that there, e to the 1 over x. Then we multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. Again, the inside function is 1 over x. We can take its derivative using the power rule. Like we said, 1 over x is the same as x to the negative 1. The derivative of x to the negative 1 by the power rule is negative x, bringing that exponent down as a factor, to the power of negative 2. That's reducing the power by 1. And we may prefer to write this as negative x to the negative 2 multiplied by e to the 1 over x. And there is our derivative. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.